Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we've got our hands on issues number 66, 67, 68 and 69. In number 66 you'll also receive the template and the tracing sheet for the writing at the base of the central panel applique. With issue number 67 you'll receive a piece of Bonder web and a piece of the cream spot which I've been guessing is the border around the completed quilt but this is the first time they've actually mentioned it. It says here important store the cream spot fabric received with this issue for when you come to do the border for your quilt so we're spot on and with issue number 68 you receive a piece of bonder web more bonder web and a piece of this green fabric which is the border around our central panel applique and lastly issue number 69 69 comes with these fabrics which are used underneath the squirrely motives around the central panel applique. We're not up to this, maybe next time, so I'm going to stash this away. Today we're going to be working with issues number 68 and 69 and we're going to begin putting the green border around our applique. We're going to be using this green fabric. Also in issue number 68 there's a sneaky hiding little template here which you would need to photocopy onto light card and cut out. This template here is for the angled corners. I've been reading these instructions over and over and they're really confusing. Let's get cracking and have a go. Our first job is to cut this green fabric into four 4.3 centimeter width strips. To do this I'm going to fold my fabric in quarters. I'm going to fold it in half making a line so I can see it. Then I'm going to fold it into quarters. Okay, so when I open it up, I will have a cutting line. It is about 4.4, 4.3, give or take. Time to get cutting. four strips cut out. I'm going to give them a press next. Now that we've got our pieces and they're all pressed and ready to be stitched onto our applique, I'm going to set up my machine and begin the stitching. I'm going to begin with stitching the top and bottom strip onto the applique first. bottom is stitched I'm now going to stitch on the side lengths. We've got our sides stitched on it's now time to give it a press and to cut off the excess bits of fabric which we're going to use for the corners. So I've given our strips a press and I've got these little bits of fabric left but they don't seem to be enough to do the edges 
or the corners. So I'm going to improvise and use a bit of cream spot that was left over from one of my um, character squares and I'm going to fill in the corners using this. So I've had a fiddle around and to make this somewhat work I've got four pieces of the cream spot which I'm going to stitch right across the angled corners. Wish me luck. And here we have my version of the border. For the life of me, I just did not understand the instructions. So I worked out a way where I could do the corners that made sense to me. It sort of looks a bit like photo corners in a photo album. I'm quite happy how it turned out. I'm not too fussed about these corners because we are going to be stitching fabric around the edge before we put our swirlies on. This is super difficult and as I'm just a beginner it just made no sense to me at all. I hope you had success with your borders. I'm just grateful I had some spare cream spot fabric in my box stashed away. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to be notified of future episodes. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we tackle the border of the central panel applique. Until next time, bye!